I think so. Um, Michael Rutter is a giant in uh, terms of his contribution to child and adolescent psychiatry and psychiatry in general. He is one of the original uh, researchers who, in the 60s and the 70s, did a uh, wonderful uh, piece of work looking at uh, prevalence of um, psychiatric disorders in children and adolescents. And since then, he's never slowed down. His breadth and depth are amazing. Um, the number of subjects he has illuminated is very large. I can hardly think of any areas in child psychiatry he didn't uh, throw a great deal of light on. And the depth that he went to is uh, massive. He's been the, uh, the greatest figure in child psychiatry. He's, I think he made, uh, he made psychiatry developmental and he made developmental psychiatry rigorous. He, uh, he, uh, he put it on a firm empirical footing, and really it was the first time that, uh, that that had happened. I don't think anyone has done as much as he has to forward the... to advance the knowledge of child psychiatry, and not just in terms of a particular disorder, but in understanding vulnerabilities and uh, possible etiologies. I think... Um when we look at his work, we can see that he has contributed to many, many fields in child and adolescent psychiatry as well as in child and adolescent development. Because from the very beginning, he was eager to, con to combine psychological knowledge with psychiatric knowledge and um, he was also um, very interested in develop new methods that could be used to classify and to diagnose child psychiatric disorders. It's the volume and the quality of his, of his output that has been astonishing. His approach was almost a personal one. He wanted to know. He's like somebody exploring a dark continent. What would happen if this went down a bit and this went up a bit? Is the same problem that you see in a child at five if they're withdrawn and anxious or depressed? Would they be depressed when they were 15? Um, if they were, was that due to genes or was it because they had a mother who was horrible saying you're a pile of rubbish? And he would set up studies to look at all these alternative mechanisms. It's almost a personal uh, vision and drive of his to understand. He wanted to get deep down and understand, rather almost like a clockmaker, how the bits fit together. He's uh researcher par excellence he and that shows in his curiosity in the range of uh, topics that he has covered he's an inspiring uh, teacher and mentor and uh, he also has influenced social policy um, in a way that nobody else had done in the field before him he's extremely bright with an excellent analytic mind he didn't mind uh, if the truth was inconvenient, if it was complicated and messy, he wouldn't tidy it up into nice little stories. He would hover above and see, uh, with quite a cold, truthful light, what was going on. He wouldn't build hopes and stories that weren't true. I certainly remember very strongly how supportive he was to me, because, the, uh, because when I was uh, starting, I was wanting to work in a rather controversial area. And I think that many heads of department you know, would have put this junior person to work either on their own projects or on something uncontroversial. But he was very supportive indeed. So despite his scepticism about um, um, how much politicians take notice of research, I think he has actually uh, contributed to policy development much more than he will ever know. When the children's department at the Maudsley Hospital had been redecorated and redeveloped completely, there was a discussion going on in the executive as to whom we should name it after, if we should name it after anyone at all. And to my mind and those of my colleagues, there was no argument. It had to be after Mike. Well, when I was asked to do this, I was in, in a way somewhat surprised to discover that it hadn't yet happened. <laughs> and he's, after all, he's been knighted and there was a festschrift for him back in, I think, 2001, college. Um, set up in terms of gathering all his papers and having, having a, a day devoted to, to, um, to him. And so one might say, well, about time too, really. I think um, he has really contributed to the field of child mental health and child psychiatry in a remarkable way. And I think he deserves from all perspectives 
and from all um, his merits this remarkable award. He had his, uh, his uh, semi-leaving party at the Institute of Psychiatry. Uh, then um, I used a quote about him then, which was originally used about the great astronomer Ptolemy and was used by one of his pupils. And they said that he was a labour-loving and a truth-loving man. And I think that that would apply very well to Michael Radley.